Let's kickstart things at Curry's National Assembly. The final plenary session of the outgoing 19th National Assembly took place today. They did manage to pass a number of undisputed bills, but left thousands of others in the scrap heap. First, our parliamentary correspondent Chi Myung Gil on how this assembly lowered the bar. After 11th hour negotiations on Thursday, Korea's three major parties passed some 135 non contentious bills. Before the session ended, Assembly Speaker Chung Yi Wah thanked lawmakers for their hard work and dedication and expressed his best wishes for the incoming Assembly. I hope lawmakers for the 20th National Assembly will fear the people and not fear those in power. Also, think of the country's future and not just think about getting re-elected. However, several government-backed bills such as the four labor reform bills and a bill to promote Korea's service industry did not reach the floor due to the opposition's dissent. The opposition parties had been asking for revisions to a special law that would extend an investigation into the 2014 Seoul ferry disaster, but failed to reach an agreement with the ruling party. On top of that, around 10,000 other bills have been scrapped as they failed to receive final parliamentary approval. Therefore, the outgoing 19th National Assembly has the dubious honor of being dubbed a vegetative legislature by critics who point out that it passed a record low number of bills. Meanwhile, the floor leaders and the deputy floor leaders of the three leading parties met to discuss how to fill the 18 parliamentary committees, as well as how to divvy up the speaker positions. The main opposition, Minji Party of Korea, insists one of its lawmakers be named speaker since it now has the most seats. If that happens, the ruling's Henry Party, which has one fewer seat, wants the right to chair the powerful legislation and judiciary committee. The minor opposition People's Party, which won more than 30 seats in last month's election, is siding with the Minju Party on the Speaker post and is vying to take one of the two co-vice speaker positions. Chim Young-get, Arirang News.